And you may be doing a lot of different types of activities here this week between Christmas and New Year's. And if traveling is one of them, the travel weather gets a lot easier from here on out. It's been kind of a headache here across the country with that big storm system yesterday with the rain and downpours. That is now long gone, but we still have kind of a hiccup in the forecast. And that's tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. And it's not going to be a big storm, nothing like yesterday. But you introduce some wet roadways on a Friday evening. Things may be going a little bit slower than normal in some spots. Luckily, it's a fast moving system and not very problematic behind it though the winds are gusty here on Saturday I do want to flag Saturday if you're going to be out and about a lot of outdoor activities happening this time of year just have that heavier jacket the reason why the wind is going to be gusty here on Saturday 30 miles per hour and today we were near 60 which is like a walk in the park so on Saturday make sure that you're dressed for the chill on Sunday I have to tell you Sunday's weather looks nearly perfect we're up near 50 degrees sunshine for the last day of December you couldn't ask for better weather or ask for more and then we have a Ravens game happening here on Sunday afternoon so really good stuff so let's get right to that forecast here if you're going to the game if you're doing any tailgating here you now I'd have had that heavier coat in the morning temperatures probably in the 30s but mid to upper 40s wind won't be a factor with the kicking game here on Sunday and about the biggest thing that's going to be out there is the sun and it'll be in your eyes so have some sun protection in terms of the eyewear looks like we are looking at a dry comfortable evening for New Year's Eve evening. We've seen years where the feels like temperature is below zero, so this is not bad at all. If you're going to be out around 8 o'clock, 40 degrees, and then for the late night hours, right around midnight, I'm expecting a temperature right around 37, 38 degrees here with a partly cloudy sky, so visibility should be good if you're going to any of those fireworks displays. This is the last piece of energy that has to rotate on through. This is an upper level area of low pressure, some snow with it out in uh, areas of Illinois and Iowa. By the time it gets into this part of the country, just too warm, we'll see a few showers. Let's take a look at some of those rainfall totals. These are eastern shore communities, so still pond, a little over two inches of rain. Rock Hall, uh, nearly two inches of rain. St. Michael's, an inch and three quarters of rain from uh, that event. Tuesday into Wednesday. Easton, almost an inch and three quarters, an inch and a third there in Queenstown and Preston in Caroline County, about an inch. If you're mainland locations, you picked up over three inches in parts of Anne Arundel County, Lothian, Abingdon in Hartford County, 2.7, Elkton, 2.41 in Cecil County, Sparrows Point, 2.18, and then even here at the station, we measured an inch and three quarters. Ellicott City down in Howard County, about an inch and a third. So your forecast for tonight, 43 degrees, 52 degrees for your Friday, yes, TGIF for all those that are working this week. We have temperatures in the low to mid 50s here tomorrow afternoon. Here's that spotty shower potential coming in tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. Notice some neighborhoods probably don't even get wet out of this, but a few of you will. So have that small umbrella in your bag or pocket here for tomorrow afternoon. 52 on your Friday, 48 on Saturday. Remember, it's a blustery chill, but beautiful for the Ravens on Sunday and for your New Year's Eve plans. And 2024, off to a fabulous start. Vic, over to you. All right, Steve, thank you so much.